So here's where the nest was. Yep, there's a little one right down there. Hey, buddy. So it actually just got done raining. And if you guys looked at my past videos, we have some baby tortoises that are hatching out. But I was just wandering the yard and I found this little guy. And to me, it looks like this was from a different clutch from all these babies. So we're gonna go around and see if there's actually some more baby tortoises hatching because I may have missed a spot that she laid some eggs. We're gonna put this little guy right there for now. I actually found the baby tortoise right here and it was going this way so they may have laid over here somewhere. We're gonna check inside of here first. We found two already. Okay. There's two. One of them's peeing in my hands. That's how we know they're nice and hydrated. I'm actually gonna go grab a bucket so we can count all the ones that we find. What's up, guys? You can see this one's a lot bigger and the growth rings right there as this one and this one are pretty small. So I'm thinking these are from different clutches. And we got Ike and Demi doing their thing. What's up, buddy? Is it getting that time of the year? Hey, Demi. So we found one right there, and we found two inside of there. We're gonna finish looking inside of the fenced off area. Oh, I see one right over there. You guys see it? Oh, there's another one right there too. There might be a hole over there. This is like an Easter egg hunt, I'm watching every single step as well. I see three now. Hey, buddy. We got two right here. We got three right here. Okay, there's definitely a hole around here somewhere. You can see all the hard dirt on its shell from it being underground. We're gonna clean off this little guy. What's up, buddy? Any more? Oh, there's one right there too. We have Tillman's ball. We got two more right here. Oh my gosh, they are everywhere. And you guys can also see along my wall, I have these holes covered up. That way no babies can escape. Here's another one. He's trying to run away from me. Come on, buddy. What's up, buddy? We found another little guy and another one. And every single tortoise will have a yolk sac right here that's connected to their plastron. And that actually feeds them for a few weeks. There's another one. Hey buddy. They like to hang out in the corners and against the walls. Now this is actually where they hatched out. The first clutch at least. I don't know about these other ones. We gotta keep looking and see if we can find another hole. I'm using my camera to spot down there. There's another one right inside of here. This little guy's trying to run away. So, so far we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hold on. Found one baby right here. Two babies. Three babies, four babies. Okay, yeah, we just found a, I think we just found a nest. There's one, or is that other one? There's two. Here's three. Here's four. So here's where the nest was. Yep, there's a little one right down there. Has not came out yet. Hey buddy. But there's already some out right now. Here, there's two right here, and there's a hole cracking right there, so there might even be some right in there. Oh no. Okay, yep. We have four back there. That's not good. We gotta get those out somehow. Oh, here he comes. Hey buddy. 
Ah, oh, gotcha, buddy. What's up, buddy? This guy has some extra scoots. So if some of you guys didn't know, tortoises will sometimes hatch out with these extra scoots. So this is what an even scoot pattern looks like. You can see all the scoots are even, but sometimes they'll hatch out with some extra scoots like this, but it does not harm them at all. In fact, it actually makes them look pretty unique and one of a kind. We got a chair falling over. We got a table falling over, all from these guys. And I know they want to go out really bad, but I don't want them stepping on these little guys in accident. Now it's okay if this is a little dirty. Also to clean these babies, I'm using a soft kids toothbrush, which is best for the baby tortoises as their shell is just developing. So you don't want to go too hard on their show. So it's been a few days since that last footage and we've been finding a bunch of babies. But I want to show you guys how I set them up, especially right now since it is so hot and toward the end of the summer. So right now they're under the shade just because it is still hot outside and they just hatched out. So we don't want them to flip over on their backs under the sun or anything like that. But we got all the babies in these large concrete mixing tubs. And the reason I use these is because they're a lot more durable than a normal plastic tub and last a very long time. As for their bedding, we're using some of this forest floor bedding that we got off of Amazon for pretty cheap and it works very well. It's also super important they have access to eat on grasses and haze as that's their main source of food so they can grow a nice and round shell. And the hay that I like to use for the baby tortoises is this American pet Timothy gold hay and I also get this off Amazon for pretty cheap now the tortoises will always have these safe tops over their enclosure but right now they're not over just because I'm recording but these tops prevent any birds or hawks or anything like that from getting to them so they can stay nice and safe but they're still able to get some Sun every single morning for about two hours with the tops over them so they can stay safe and bask under the Sun and the last thing we have to help keep the tortoises cool is a misting system and the tortoises love the misters coming down on them it helps them stay nice and cool as well as it helps keep their enclosure nice and humid which is super important for baby tortoises and their show growth 